What's up, people? So, I wanted to make a video about Rock City's newest game, Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League, because I know there's a lot of controversy about it now based on the new information we got for the game, and I wanted to talk about it. Before we start, if you guys like these kind of videos and want to see more, go ahead and show support by dropping a like and subscribing. It really helps out the channel, and I would really appreciate it. Anyways, let's just get started. So, let's first talk about the leak, quote unquote, the game had. So, earlier on in this month, somebody apparently leaked the whole story of the game, and people were furious about it. Thankfully, that was deconfirmed by Rocksteady, so I just wanted to say that really quickly. It was one of the worst stories I've ever read in my life, so I'm happy it was deconfirmed. Now, what I do want to talk about is the leaked picture of the game that shows a very controversial topic, you know, in the gaming community. So, I'm not going to show the picture, but what it shows is a picture of the menu, which looks a little bland in my opinion. And it kind of shows things like loadouts for each character, skills, a social tab for your friends. But the most controversial is that there is a battle pass. So this worries a lot of people, right? Because Rocksteady is definitely not known to do battle passes. Their Arkham games were very self-contained and single player focused. So for them to go this route is very surprising and I think upsetting to a lot of people. Also, a battle pass in general just has a very negative connotation, right? They did say, however, that the pass is used for cosmetic purposes only, but it's still a battle pass nonetheless. Now, it's all valid reasoning for somebody to be worried, but I'm here to try and calm everybody down, okay? Let's just talk about why you shouldn't feel as worried as you are. First of all, negativity is a lot easier to highlight than positivity, okay? That just applies to everything. So keep that in mind. Uh, next, Rocksteady has not done anything up to this point to make us doubt them, right? Sure, people may have their disagreements on the Arkham games, but overall, the games were absolutely fantastic. All of them were extremely incredible in their own different ways. And I am skeptical too of the whole battle pass system, I'm not going to lie. But I'm not going to doubt Rocksteady and say it's going to be a bad game when they haven't even done anything in the past to make us think that. And Rocksteady is known to always have incredibly fun gameplay, and from the very little gameplay we've seen of the game so far, it looks pretty fun. It looks pretty fluid as well. I have faith in the gameplay aspect for sure, and they always have really good storylines as well. I get Arkham Knight's story was a bit controversial, but it has some really good plot points and it was executing a lot of ideas really well. I'm bringing this up just to try and remind everyone that this is Rocksteady that we're talking about, okay? And I know with the game director Sefton Hill leaving just recently, people are worried about what that can mean for the game. But Rocksteady has never set a precedent on doing things that would upset us as fans. The Arkham games were love letters, and I'm sure they will treat this game's story and gameplay as such. I'm not saying this to not have worries, because you will always have worries about something you value. But I have faith, and you should too. Try not to let all the negativity around the game discourage you from thinking this will be a bad game. Obviously, we won't know anything until the game is out, but based off the little gameplay we've seen and Rocksteady's resume, I really do believe this game will be great. The battle pass is not something I agree with, if I'm being honest, but does it ruin the game for me? Absolutely not, and I don't think it should for you either. Let me know what you guys think though in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff, and I'll see you on the next video. Goodbye, people.